Yo, what is up, guys? It's Born to Do Jim. Welcome to the Seven Days Podcast. And today's episode is kind of special or different. I'm going to do two things in one. I'm going to do my normal Seven Days Podcast and I'm going to do my Hell in the Cell predictions later on in the video, which would be about around the 15 minute mark, around there. That's when I'll be doing the uh, the predictions. But um, I'm gonna be honest. I'm recording this Friday, October 28th, two days before Hell in the Cell. And I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm gonna be truth. I'm gonna be honest with you right now. Uh, a lot of things has been happening to me in a negative way. Um, well, one negative, one negative slash positive. I'm going to be honest with you. I got let go from UPS. Now, what happened was I went to work. I punched in on time. And I got there. And um, the supervisor called me into his office. And he said, basically, I don't think this job is for you. And I'm thinking in my head, oh, shit, I'm going to be fired. <laughs> okay. Um, but at the same time, I'm thinking, you're fucking right. This job isn't for me. I don't like this job one bit. But I was willing to stay just to get some money for now, you know. Um, so when he's like, he's preaching about school and go to, go to college and stuff. Get your education so it'll help you get a better job instead of working your ass off for a, a shitty shitty pay which he was he was right the entire time you know working your ass off at UPS and just it, it was a part-time job and and the only time you can get full-time is in management or a like corporate and you know brushing your ass just to get a small shitty amount of pay and I mean Obviously, the pay wasn't satisfying me, but I'm like, you know what? At least I'm getting some money, you know? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how, but I don't know if I supported my mom with the money or not for the time being. But, um, that's what I, the only person I kept thinking about was how's my mom going to react that I've been let go from UPS. Now, the only reason why I wanted to, I, like, I wanted to, like, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to tear up when he said you, you you've been disqualified. That was a term he used, but um, I realized I'm like you know what? Eh. I I I I was planning to quit. Not now. More like later on in the future. I did plan to stay there for at least a year or so, a couple of months. So so now um, I'm gonna go to college this uh, this coming January um, I plan to do that I have to go with OSAP and all that crap but you know they keep saying hey if you do your education shit you have a better chance of making money better you have a better chance of um, having a better job making more money than working in UPS I'm like hey you're right you're right just that I didn't want to work and then go to school at the same time because the amount of stress I'll have, it, 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 it wouldn't, I won't be able to comprehend that. So, I'm like, you know what, fuck it. Fuck it! You know, so what he's like, you better go, I'm like... It, it felt like a sign of relief, but at the same time, it was like, shit, man. I mean, yeah, at least I lasted longer than my first job. My first job, I lasted for two weeks to a month. I, st- I lasted here for like two and a half months. Alright, so that was the first bad news. The second bad news... <sighs> my PlayStation 4 has died. My PlayStation 4 has become obsolete. Uh, what I mean by that is... I was in the middle... I was about to record SmackDown. Universe Mode. Right? You're not going to get Universe Mode um, uh, until Monday. I, I plan to upload it on Friday... Uh, which I'm recording it right now, but I decided to push it back because I feel like I'm just shoving you guys with too many videos and I just want to chill and I feel like, you know, one video a day, that will do it good. So I was able to push back a lot of videos. Uh, if I, if I end up uploading this on Friday, then 
yeah, all this shit happened within a 24-hour or 48-hour time radius. So, yesterday, on Thursday, my PlayStation 4 legit went out. I I had it on. I was going to go and shower. I went to bathe. I come back. My PS4 is off. Now, I'm thinking, okay, it's in sleep mode or something, right? But, no, but in sleep mode, it'll have the yellow bar still on, right? So, it was black. It was a black, like, nothing, no light was on at all, at all. So, I turned it on. It would shut off saying it was too hot. So, I'm thinking, okay, either I got to let it chill or I got to clean it out again. That's what I did the last time. I cleaned it out and it started to work for a while. So, I'm like, you know what, let me clean it out again. I clean it out again. I turn it on. It shuts off after two seconds. So I try to work on it. I unscrewed everything. I, I went deep cleaning. I, I did everything. I cleaned the fan. Everything I could do. And now it's just not turning on at all. So I'm like, you know what? <sighs> what now? Now I'm thinking, okay, I can still upload videos. You know, that's not really the problem. You know, the uploading videos part. It's not, it's not a problem. I can still upload videos. It's just that universe mode is what made me who I am. It's what made my channel what it is right now. Everybody giving me uh, so much love and support for the hard work I put into my videos. I try to make my videos as real as I can. And what I mean, what I mean by that is making it feel like an actual show with the pyro and then the music and the intros and then you know the matchup screens and the and everything I do I try to make it real as fuck like how I see it on TV in real life. So when I watch Brendan plays and all these other guys doing universe mode I'm thinking am I am I the only one? I feel I know I'm not the only one but I feel like I am. Uh, that's how I feel. I feel like I'm the only one that goes the extra mile to put in so much effort. I'm not saying they don't put effort into the videos. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying I think I do way too much. You know, I'm like I love what I do. I love setting it up and and doing the intro and then the match the matchup screens and the pyro and all that shit because it makes me feel like. Because when I look back on my videos, be like, okay, this is a mistake I've done. Um, I'm not going to do that shit again. Uh, shit like that. See, when, when I get criticism from other people, I'm like, okay, that's just them. Right? But when I criticize my videos, that's when you know, like, that's when it means a lot. Right? But, like, if I have a bunch of people telling me, okay, this is wrong or this is bad, this and that... Then I'll, then I'll take that into consideration and try to fix it or whatever. So, what I'm saying is, you're going to have to wait for uterus mode for, I would say, because I told my mom, look, my PS4 crashed, it died, it's done, right? And I told her that the PS4 Slim is uh, $379. I have $100 currently saved in my bank account. And I don't, I do not plan on buying anything with that at all. I don't care about my internet bill, or my phone bill. I just, I care about the PS4 so much right now. Because that helped me a lot for the past year and a half on YouTube. And I feel like if I uploaded anything else but WWE, I don't think I will get some or a tiny bit, a small percentage amount of attraction coming onto my channel. So, basically, yeah, you're going to have to wait for Universe Mode for a while. So, this Monday will be the last Universe Mode video for now. And then when I get my shit together, I'll come back with Universe Mode. And I'm going to work my ass off and, you know, get my shit done. So, besides all that, I can still upload uh, the Xenoverse thing. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, that, I don't know. You gotta have to wait for that too, I guess. Anything PS4 related, you gotta have to wait. But any other gameplay, uh, the Mafia gameplay, or, or, or whatever I have in stored, 
Uh, I can still get that done and upload that, and no problem. The reviews and stuff, nothing is going to change except if it's PS4 related. So, besides all that, those are the only two major issues I have. It's just I'm jobless again, and my PS4 is dead. My PS4 is obsolete. It faded away and classified itself as obsolete. Obsolete. So, uh, yeah. Now we're going to get into Monday Night Raw and SmackDown and Impact Wrestling on, on Thursday. Let's see. Monday Night Raw was ass. I didn't care at all. I did not care at all. Mm-mm. I mean, Seth Rollins and the list. I care about that. Cause I, was, I was at the pizza store that day, and I was and I was waiting for my food to come through. So I was just sitting there watching, and I'm like enjoying it because I have the the opportunity to watch Monday Night Raw right there. But besides all that, I don't care about anything else. Every, everything else was awful. The Dana Brooke, I put it out on, in my Bailey video. Like, what happened with what's going on with Bailey now? You know, she's fucking having arm wrestling matches with Dana Brooke. Why? Why? Every look, one of that role was just awful. Brock Lesnar's segment was just god awful. Like I said, I want Brock to speak. I'm tired of Paul Heyman talking. It's just, it's just boring at this point. It's like, yeah, he's gonna kill it, but do you really care? Are you really gonna listen to every word he says? No. He's going to say the same shit over and over again. My beast Brock Lesnar is going to beat you. He's going to conquer you, victimize, all that shit. That's basically what he's going to say. And he basically had the worst promo, from according, according from everyone, including himself, saying that he had the worst promo on Monday Night Raw. So Monday Night Raw itself is a cancer or a, a it's just an overall bad product. That even the cruiserweights are not getting the respect that they deserve by fucking having short matches. Like, they're treating the cruiserweights how they treated the women last year or two years ago. Or maybe currently today. So, Monday Night Raw overall is a bad product. Um, will I still watch? Of course I will. It's WWE. You know, all, those two, Raw, SmackDown, and NXT, and the pay-per-view, and the live specials, and, you know, network specials, maybe a little bit, I will still watch. But I will still come out here and criticize it if I like it or not. You know, if I have something, if I have some problems, I'll come out and say, look, this shit was, was, was whack. I didn't like it, you know? But, uh... Yeah, SmackDown, let's see, uh, Becky Lynch came back, and seconds before she cut her promo, Alexa Bliss came out, they had their brawl, they had a brawl, and after Alexa Bliss, NWO saw like everyone else is saying, you know, fucking spray paint, a yellow uh, spray paint from her hair, from Becky Lynch's orange hair, all the way down to her lower back. Wow. Calling her spineless. Wow. Calling her yellow. <laughs> um, what else happened on SmackDown? James Ellsworth, Costi, and Ambrose. A chance to fight for the WWE World title. I'm thinking, okay, Ambrose is going to win. We're going to see another great match between Ambrose and AJ Styles. Hopefully, they'll do better than Backlash. Because Backlash, uh, the fans were totally with AJ Styles and against Dean Ambrose. But besides all that, SmackDown was a good show. Uh, Nikki Bella did the STF better than John Cena. Nikki Bella locked in the STF better than John Cena. Go watch it back and you'll understand. John Cena does it with the with the with the freaking cross, right? But Nikki Bella does it how you really want to choke your opponent. So perfect. Per- I really hope she keeps that. All right. So besides all that, let's get into the review for. I'm oh, sorry, preview of Hell in the Cell. I know the picture says review. Uh, my boy, uh, at Mike Will 87 did not make a preview, uh, photo, but I'm gonna stick with it. Uh, so let's get to Hell in the Cell. What is there to talk about Hell in the Cell? But, before I get to that, real quick, Thursday Night Impact, Cody Rhodes and Brandy, the match was awkward against the Bennett's. It was awkward, but at the same time, it was still a good match, good interaction. And Bobby Lashley and Eddie Edwards. I'm really looking forward to that again. I, I I love Lashley. I'm not gonna lie. Everyone is shitting on him for his mic skills. I don't care. The man talks how he talks, and I believe him that he's gonna fucking 
destroy Eddie Edwards, but we all know Eddie Edwards is going to win because Bobby Lashley has the fight coming up. So, um, I think that's basically it. Then the brother near and the, the, the Hardy segment was just hilarious and weird. You know, they, they had that segment at their house, trick or treat, trick. It was treat or delete. Great segment. You guys got to go check that out. But, anyways, now let's get down the cell. What is there to talk about on the cell? Let's see. Uh, we have Edzo and Cass against Anderson and Gallows. Why? Because Anderson and Gallows uh, ripped away the, the sound of the microphone, shapes of Mr. Kennedy. Uh, for Enzo and Cass, and then Enzo was still able to pull off the 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 same old same old saying that he always says in his entrance, uh, with the f help of the fans. Well, I liked it because I'm like, you know, he still found a way to say what he's gotta say. I, I feel like uh, people always say that there's a microphone under the ring, so I think they raised the microphone under the ring to make it sound louder. But I don't know. Um. Who's gonna win? Do I honestly care? I don't. I don't care. But who's gonna win? It's uh, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I want Anderson and Gallows to win, mainly because I want them to fucking um, be dominant. But I, I mean, I want Enzo and Cass to have that 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 story where everybody's looking down on them and everyone you know it's doubting them and everyone's like talking shit about them and then they finally get some wins and they shut everyone up and then they prove everyone why they deserve to be on Monday Night Raw why they did why they deserve to be the tag team champions and shit that's what I want from Enzo and Cass because I feel like that will work if it worked for Sami Zayn if it worked for Daniel Bryan it could work for Enzo and Cass for Cass alone, it will not work. But Kenzo and Cass, it it should it could work. It could work if they just do it right. But we all know Monday Night Raw and their fucking booking team is just. Ugh. What can I say? So I'm gonna go with Anderson, Anderson and Gallows. But I know Enzo and Cass might have a might win, so they might have a chance of winning. So we'll see. Bailey versus Dana Brooke. Jesus God Almighty. Why, why, why is this happening? Where is my Nia Jax? Where is my Hogan leg drops? Where is my Samoan drops? Where is she? Where is she? She's not like most girls. Yes, she is, but like most girls. Because most girls are off TV, fucking in catering, or, or injured. Or getting married, like Paige. Shit. Like, where is Nia Jax? Oh, oh, oh I know. On the pre-show. Or fucking even worse. On Superstars. Are you... F I hope to God she pulls a cane and comes out in the hell in the cell after Sasha retains the title. So I respond to that shit. Right? Nia Jax comes through and she beats the fuck. Out of Sasha Banks, starting another feud. Let Charlotte, you know, I don't know, fight Bailey again. I don't fucking know. Um, I don't know. Let Summer Rae come through and let them do that that tag team that they used to do back in NXT, the BFFs or whatever they're called, shit like that. So I hope Nia Jax does that. If Nia Jax does not do that, I don't give a fuck about the women's division. Period on Monday Night Raw. I'm I'm already there, but if Nia Jax comes through like Kane, I might care a little bit. Um, let's see what else is there. If I can think off the top of my head, uh, we got uh, let's go with the tag team titles. Fuck it, New Day versus Cesaro and Sheamus. I want Cesaro and Sheamus to win because I want to see them pull off like Daniel Bryan and Kane. You know how they won the tag titles back in the championship Boston match in 2012. So I kind of want them to pull something like that. Not obviously not the same finish where fucking one of them go on the top and the other pushes them off and then one of them lands on the opponent and then one, two, three. No, not that. Something where. It's like mind boggling and it's like, oh shit, I can't believe they just put off the win like that. You know, shit like that. So, honestly, yeah, Cesaro and Sheamus, I want them to win. I feel like, you know, we went through this whole thing with the best of seven and, you know, they went through all of that just to get tag team title shot and then lose. Come on, man. They need to win. I'm just saying. I am sick and tired. Basically, basically because they're, they're the champions. I'm sick and tired of the New Day. 
And I mean that in a way where if they turn heel or they, if they turn heel, they lost the tag team titles, that would be the best thing because then they can they can re, rejuvenate themselves, make themselves better. But nope, coming out, kissing up to the crowd and uh, just awful, uh, awful. So Cesaro and Sheamus needs to win. Reigns versus Rusev, uh, U.S. title, Hell in the Cell match. Everybody's shitting on this match. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I should have. I think I should have on Reigns versus uh, Bray Wyatt at Hell in the Cell last year, and they had a monument. They had a big. They, it was a great match. Uh, that's what I was trying to say. They had a great match. One of my favorites. Uh, Hell in the Cell. Uh, like it's like it's like top ten. It's in there. Trust me. But um. Uh, I just feel like, you know, they need to end this because I feel like it's been good. They have great matches. I mean, I think not a champions, you know, the beginning was slow as fuck, but, it, but when it go, when it towards the end, towards the end, it was a great match. It was a great ending. So Reigns is obviously going to fucking win. There's no chance in hell Rusev wins because we do not want to see Reigns versus Rusev again on Monday Night Raw or at Survivor Series or whenever they're going to have their match. So Reigns wins. Rusev, bye bye, bye bye, Ruru. Um, uh, what what else is there? For fuck's sake, I'm trying to think. The cruiserweights, I. I just don't care. I really don't care. I'm not even gonna predict that one. Fuck it. Uh, whoever wins wins. Simple as that. Uh, I feel like Sami Zayn might have a match. If he does, then he wins. Fuck it. I mean, who knows? Hell in the Cell could have an impromptu match. I don't know. You never know. So we're gonna go with uh, Sasha Banks versus Charlotte. Uh, we already know who won. Who wins this one? Do I honestly care? If this match main events the show, I honestly, I honestly, mm, to me, I look at it like this. If a feud is bigger than the WWE Universal title or the main title of the show, then that should main event the show, the pay-per-view. So to me, I don't know if I can say that this match should main event the show, mainly because we're sick and tired of the feud. And I'm speaking for myself. And I noticed some others that would agree with me saying that, yes, I'm sick and tired of this shit. Same old, same old, why they're fighting. I'm the, well, I'm the queen. I'm the boss. Uh, women's title. Revolution. Na, 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 na. Ru, da, da, da. Eddie Guerrero. Little kids. Da, 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 da. You know, it's, it's the same old, same old shit to me. And this is all about first time ever's and the count of cells dead. Like my PS4, it's dead. How in the Cell is done for, it's dead. Nobody cares about How in the Cell anymore. How in the Cell lost its mystique like it used to be, it's dead. Who wins? I want my girl Charlotte to win, but if I do, if that happens, then we have to, then we have to go through this shit again and again and again. So fuck that. Sasha's gonna win, mainly because I want this feud to fucking finish, and hope to God that something. Good what happened like Nia Jax coming out and beat the fuck out of Sasha Banks simple as that Universal Championship Third Hell in the Cell match like I said I thought you know more Hell in the Cell matches people will love it But I guess not um, People are saying why are we having so many Hell in the Cell matches you know shit like that I, I thought you know more Hell in the Cell more the like but I'm wrong so Owens obviously wins this one I don't give a shit who says Rollins is gonna win Rollins is not gonna win it's going to be Owens. Um, if Rollins win, then okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get mad at it. But I feel like Kevin Owens, you know, had a shitty towel reign being, being foreshadowed by uh, being shadowed by fucking Jericho's List. Jericho's List is the main reason why people watch Raw. Besides that, nobody gives a fuck about anything else on Raw. Monday Night Raw is dead without Jericho. And Jericho plans to leave. I keep hearing this. Jericho plans to leave after Hell in the Cell or, or around there. If he leaves after Hell in the Cell, Raw's done. Unless they do something monumental, Raw is fucking dead. Raw is basically living off the machine made by Chris Jericho. So, yeah. I think that's all the Hell in the Cell matches 
uh, for the paper, uh, or the, at least that's all the pay-per-view matches that I can get. Let me see if I can um look it up real real quick. So we have Enzo and Cass against the uh, the uh, the Anderson and Gallows, Reigns versus Rusev, Charlotte and Sasha. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm looking through. I'm looking through. Yeah, that's basically it. Oh, with Perkins versus uh, Kendrick for the Cruiserweight title. I'm going to go with Kendrick this time. I love my boy Perkins, but I feel like Kendrick, he's getting there. I feel like he's going to get that job done and get the win. So what, who do you guys think is going to win? Leave your comments down below. And uh, yeah, like I said, got the win for Universe Mode for a while, for at least a month and a half. Or I don't know how long it takes, but we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed this prediction video and a seven days podcast. Click the like button, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at Bono to the gym. And I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoy Hell in the Cell this Sunday. And I'm out later.